This is not the first time the ex-Anglo Gold workers have reminded the government of Ghana to expedite processes in the release of monies due them from the Heritage Fund. The ex-workers have lamented how delays in the release of the funds have made life difficult for some of their members who they claim died in the process. According to them, they have no idea the amount accrued to the fund since it was established in 1897 and its release to members has been long overdue. Processes to retrieve the money was initiated after the closure of the mine in 2014, but the affected former workers are worried their plight is worsening following failure by government to pay members. Tuesday's demonstration, according to them, was one of the avenues they were exploring to ensure payment of what is due them. Convener for the group, Isaac Esiedu, spoke to journalists. ex Angogod Ashanti workers 2013-2014 demonstration regarding the release of the Heritage Fund. We are demonstrating to protest against the President of Ghana, His Excellency, Nana Adudankwa Ekufado, for the delay and the refusal of the payment of the Heritage Fund due members of the company following the collapse of the company in the year 2014. The Heritage Fund that was instituted by Ghana Spears, a British man, in 1897 to benefit the workforce of the company when mining ceases operation has still not been released after the company was closed in 2014. All processes commenced to fully claim benefit under the said fund has proved futile. The president claimed to be a listening government, but he is not because he has remained adamant on this very issue. Following the fruitless meeting with the president of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Dudankwa, we the members are embarking on a demonstration through the principal street of Obwase. This is to enable the government to realize the intensity and frustration of these members. With this large number of members and other stakeholders who are also interested in the prospect, to mention a few widows, widowers, and their children, market women, our wives as well. This is because the said farm will improve the living standard in Obuasi and Ghana at large. Members of the group tied red armbands amidst chants and wielded placards which bore inscriptions of their concerns as they marched through principal streets of the Obuasi municipality. The group has threatened to petition the World Bank on the matter. We ask this minimum question. Why is it that the World Bank who released the rated fund to Bank of Ghana in 2014, 2016, at the reign of the former president of Ghana, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, has still not done any follow-up to ensure safe delivery to the same beneficiaries. Or do they compromise with the president of Ghana to frustrate us? They should wake up from their slumber to come to our aid so that the money can be released to our beneficiaries. These beneficiaries, some of them are dying out of frustration, out of anger, out of anxiety and out of depression. So we are appealing to the government to do what is right because if the money is not released as soon as possible, definitely we are going to act accordingly. And that act is heading to us alone. It is known to us alone. So please, Mr. President, do according to the way we are speaking to you this morning. Else, better thing, nasty thing, greater thing shall follow up.